It's incredible. You know, there's too many community centers that's a space where you go do an activity and leave. And there's never that in-between space where you just want to kind of hang out. This space, as it extends all the way down the building, gives you that. Mark Reeves is one of the architects that helped transform the former Harrison High School into what it is today, the Farmington Hills Community Center, also known as the HOP. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. As an architect, we, we spend a lot of time in the drawings and the model with the prints, with the renderings, and you work space by space, but to see the whole thing come together as a whole is, is really, really exciting. Mark's interest in the Hawk goes beyond just the design. For me, it's extra exciting as a resident of the city. You know, it, it's, you, you have a bit extra pressure to make sure this is done perfect and done right. And when I, when I see what's here, I'm, I'm extra excited that, of the result that we see today. And Mark can't wait until his kids can come hang out at the Hawk. The pool is going to be exciting. I have a 10-year-old and a 12-year-old, and I know they're going to be here all the time. Mark recently stopped at the Hawk and explained his vision for the space. With this building, what we did is we tried to open up and bring as much glass into the east facade as possible. And to do that, we tore down the second level of this portion of the building, made this two-story glass wall running all the way down the east facade, but then created windows and borrowed light. So as far back as the complete west side of the building, you can still see natural light coming through the building in almost all of the public spaces. Mark took us on a tour of some of the spaces. If you stand here, you can see all the way down to the other end of the building, which you couldn't before. Designing the Hawk came with its own set of challenges. We wanted to provide not just the amenities like reception and the uh, little cafe there, but places for people to gather and hang out. So the stair was designed such that you can sit down and hang out at the bottom and then there's the seating spaces as you go up that. So if you're waiting for a friend or you're uh, just waiting for a class, you have a spot to kind of just huddle up and hang out. I love this part. The exercise room with the garage door so that when there's not something going on here, it opens the whole thing up. You can see into the pool, through the windows, and all the way outside from this side as well. That treadmill is going to be a popular treadmill. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sprung floor. If you, if you feel that it has give to it, and for dancing, it's, it helps protect the joints. This is fun. I love the tile work. This wasn't here before, so the views and the natural light are quite nice. And I like that we saved parts of the old building as well to kind of peek through the new spaces. I'm excited about the volleyball and basketball. My son will be here playing basketball all day long in the water. It's exciting. It's really exciting. Now that the Hawk is nearly complete, we are so excited to be moving in and to invite you as our special guest. I'm your Hills host, Lauren Turner. Stay tuned for more Hawk updates.